how to download cover art for iTunes. Welcome to Video Jug. I'm Stuart Hedlund. There's something about a music collection that brings out the obsessive and even the most reasonable of people. In the old days it might have been arranging your tapes, records and CDs into artist date or genre order. These days you can do that with a click of a mouse thanks to things like iTunes, but while the digital revolution has made some things simpler, it's also opened up a whole new level of obsession when it comes to attention to detail. Cover art. Yes, with all but the iPod Shuffle able to display artwork to go with your songs, any track that doesn't have its album cover now looks like the last boy to be picked for the football team. And I should know. For this jug, you'll need a Mac or PC running iTunes 4 or later and an internet connection. It might also help to have an iPod or iPod Nano and an eye for detail. Now, if you don't see any artwork when you're listening to songs in iTunes, go to View at the top of the screen and click on Show Artwork. By clicking on the Now Playing bar at the top of the window that appears, you can switch between seeing artwork for the song that's currently playing and any songs you've clicked on or selected in your iTunes library. When you're listening to your iPod, artwork is automatically displayed with the song title. There are loads of ways to get any artwork you're missing, but before we go any further, you need to make sure that your track name, artist and album information are as complete and accurate as possible, as this will save you a lot of hassle later on. Any songs you bought in the iTunes store should already have this information in place, as well as their album artwork, so you don't need to worry about those. Any songs you've imported from a CD you bought in the shops should have been named by iTunes automatically when you imported them, but if it didn't, click on the songs you've imported, they should be named Track 1, Track 2, Track 3 and so on, go to Advanced at the top of the screen and click on Get CD Track Names. The problems arise when you've got songs that are either ripped or downloaded from elsewhere, as they'll normally have missing information or be badly spelt. There are software programs that will download this information from the internet, but they're far from perfect, so depending on how many mystery songs you've got in your iTunes library, it might be worth entering this information manually track by track. To do so, just click on the empty column and type in the information. If you're not sure about the artist or album name, it's usually easy to find by putting the song name plus the word album or artist into Google. Once you've gathered your information, you're ready to start filling the gaps in your collection. Apple recently introduced a feature to iTunes that will automatically download cover art. Just click on the song or songs that are missing their covers, go to the advanced menu at the top of the screen and then click get album artwork. There are a few limitations to this process though. For a start, iTunes will only be able to gather covers for albums that are available on the iTunes store and while that's a big list, it's far from exhaustive. Secondly, you'll need an account with the iTunes Store to use this service, and while it's free to set up, it does add an extra level of complication. Finally, if any of the album name or artist name information you gathered earlier is incorrect or badly spelt, iTunes will struggle to find the correct images. As an alternative to iTunes built-in options, you can also download various applications and plugins that will search sites like Google and Amazon to find your missing artwork. Just be aware that by default they'll search the American website, so you might end up with the American CD artwork. While it's not usually massively different to what we get in the UK, there's nothing more jarring to the music enthusiast than something that isn't quite right. Mac OS X, Tiger and Leopard users should be able to find widgets that will search Amazon for your missing artwork, but an alternative is to go to www.apple.com forward slash downloads forward slash Mac OS X where you can find a program called Gimme Some Tune. This free program not only displays album artwork for your currently playing song, but will also show you music information on your desktop. Windows Vista users should be able to find a gadget that does the same thing, but failing that, free software is usually available from www.download.com. If all else fails, you can just try and look for the artwork yourself. Either put your album into a Google image search or have a look at amazon.co.uk. As a guide, try and go for images that are 250 pixels by 250 pixels and take up as few K as possible, as the picture will get added to your MP3 file. So the bigger your picture, the bigger your MP3 becomes and the more space your iTunes library takes up on your hard disk. Once you've found an image you're happy with, open it and drag it into the album artwork window of iTunes. If you make a mistake, simply right or control click on the song name, go to the Get Info option and then click on the Artwork tab. There you can edit or change any pictures attached to the song. There you have it. Now your iTunes should look as good as they sound.